Hey there, Dustin here from Retro Supply, and today I want to teach you how to add speed lines to your typography. It's a trick I had to use for a recent project and it creates a great looking effect. By the way, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials just like this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to get started with this is a good font. Now, a font that I love um, that I'm going to use is called Brandon Grotesque. You have to pay for this font, but you can find all sorts of ones for free. Your computer probably comes default with some version of Futura or any like very plain sans serif will work. But I'm using Brandon Grotesque because I love Brandon Grotesque and I own it. So I'm going to use the word like speedy, make this bigger, hold down alt shift to drag it down. And then I'm going to type clean, speedy clean. And do I want to center this or do I want to just keep it like kind of like the idea of just having these line up like that. I don't know why. Okay, so it's a pretty good size. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a color palette next. And one cool way to pick a color palette is, um, I found this cool site and it is called LOL Colors. And they just have like a collection of like curated palettes that are pretty neat. So you can kind of pick like just a couple or the entire palette. So like, I like this color as like a background, this kind of rich, dark, muted blue. I'm going to make a box, cover my entire artboard with it, and then of course fill it. And I'm going to lock it by doing command two so I don't have to mess with it. Don't want it moving while I'm trying to do stuff. And then by pushing command and my bracket key, I'm gonna bring my typography to the front. And I'm going to choose this beautiful yellow, love yellows in design work, um, for my letters. Okay, so now I've got this nice yellow just popping on top of the blue. Um, and now I wanna add like some speed lines to it. Uh, and these kind of seem like intimidating and tricky at first, but they're actually really easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my line tool and I'm going to make sure that my stroke palette is open. These guys can go away, bye. And then I'm just gonna make a line like, like that. And obviously it needs some weight to it. I'm gonna make it yellow, of course, so it matches the text. And we just make it as thick as we want it. So I'm gonna go about that thick, and then I wanna round the corners. Um, I just think that looks better. So you can see now the corner is round on that. I'll zoom in while we do this. So you see like we got these nice round corners. We did that by just selecting on right here. Okay. So here is a little trick to this. Now you can just start putting these on and getting the speed effect, right? But we want kind of like the shadow. It gives it like this, like just a little cooler look to it. So if I get this and get it like that close, then I'm gonna get my color picker, pick color. It's the color of the background. Nice, okay. So now I have a yellow and then I have like the blue, which is mixing with the background below it. And I am going to select both of these and I'm going to go to object group, or you can just do command G, which I normally do, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So now I can just drag these down and look how tight this looks. Oh, so good. Okay, so move that back like that. And then I can just like put a couple of these down. So like put one down here. Oops. And I'm gonna extend it out. And you might notice that the size just changed. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go to Illustrator, Preferences, General. Don't scale stroke and effects. That way we don't have to mess with it changing when we're adjusting the lines. And we're gonna do about like four to five on the first letter three to four in the last letter, and then just a few in the middle of the word to just convey what we're doing. And we don't want it to go in too far as far as the little speed thing goes, as far as the little dashes go. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I feel like I went like a little bit overboard in like a couple places, like, but you know what? Like, I'm not gonna judge myself too harshly. I 
do think it's a good idea to keep these like fairly lined up, but so I'm just going to remove anywhere like I feel like there's too much. Like, I kind of feel like I feel like this is like something around here is too much. I can't tell what it is. Like maybe that. Like maybe that needs to be higher. Like I don't know. Like you have to fiddle with this stuff, and that's the fun part. But I can't fiddle too long because I'm teaching you guys, and I don't want to bore the hell out of you while I take forever um, messing with like where I put lines. Like I think you probably get the idea without me putting you through that. So anyways, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to just add some text below and just, just to kind of like make this official as like an actual like design. So speedy clean might be like a laundry place, right? Like, so we'll call like 24 hour dry cleaning. And I'll put that below it. And because the words are smaller, I have this like theory, like I think it's been confirmed, I don't know, but like I think the smaller letters are in kind of this retro-esque style design. I think when they're smaller, they should be spread out more for readability. I feel like I've heard that somewhere, but I don't really know where. So I'll make that white, nice. This is looking pretty tight for taking like five minutes. And I don't even know, like a lot of stuff should line up. So like, let's make this line up here. And make it like just a little bit smaller. And then we'll like spread out the words just a little bit more. I don't know, you get the idea here. Like, I feel like I could also like put like some sort of script up here. Okay, I'll put a script up here, I'll just do it. Um, so I'll put, I don't know, what would you put on something like this? Speedy clean, like, attention, attention executives, that sounds like, kind of like old school, sounds like that might be it. Okay, so attention executives, like we're doing a call to action to the people that would actually shop here. And then I'm going to make this zero, because it's going to be a script, and we don't want spaces in scripts, or it's going to look weird as hell. So we'll do metro script because I love the look of that. And I'll make that white again. No, you know what? I'm gonna do Filmo Type Lucky. This is one of my favorite scripts of all time. Get it from Filmo Type, obviously. It is an amazing script. It will pay for itself. Like, I use it all the time. I love it. Okay. So you kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. So here is the really cool part. Okay, so the lines are actually the really cool part. But check this out. So like now we can just get this. Highlight it all, go to Object, Transform, Shear, and just by having the shear angle to a negative five degrees and making sure it's on vertical, and then preview so you can see it. Um, and as you can see, like if I tweak this, I can like keep like, I could go crazy here. But I think five looks just fine. Press OK. And then look, like now we have this like all angled with like the speed lines, like it looks really awesome. And it looks like surprisingly hard to do this when you have it angled with the lines in there. So I guess the last thing, um, oh, little OCD, OCD thing is I'm just going to group this and then make sure it's centered on my artboard. Okay. so. This is like, this is like basically it, but like we could of course age this and do other stuff, but that's for a different YouTube video. Um, so that is how to make a piece of typography that looks like it is um, speedy. So thanks for watching. Hey, want nine best selling goods from the Retro Supply Shop for free? Things like textures, brushes, templates, and more? Just visit www.retrosupply.co and we'll get you taken care of. Talk to you soon.